and um, knock him out in the later rounds. Yeah, I root, I, yeah, I root for AJ. I want AJ to win. But at the and end of the day, AJ is really, tall. I'm going to so be AJ, well, I'm gonna finish, D.I. We're going to go to you. Go ahead. Go ahead, Lady Chan. Yeah, I'm just going to be um, objective and not subjective here. There's, this is both a tough fight for both of them. It's the toughest fight of, of their careers. I can see how Tyson Fury can win. I can see how AJ can win. That's, that's just the bottom line. We'll watch it and we'll see. But it is a tough fight for both of them. Just because I want AJ to root, I'm not going to negate the skills that Tyson Fury has. And, and if the, the Fury fan, the fanboys, they negate the skills what Anthony Joshua has. Like, let's be objective and not subjective. Like, you can root for someone. It doesn't mean you have to be blinded by, like, by facts, you know? Like, we, we're, we're here in boxing and we, we're here to analyse and you're supposed to have analytical open minds and see both sides of how this fight could pan, up, could pan out with the boxer's skill sets. And with these two boxers' skill sets, they're, they're still developing. I feel that AJ is evolving more because he showed us more, more evolution every fight since we can go just since from Ruiz, but we can go since he, he started uh, defend, uh, started gaining titles from 2015. He, he's a work in, pro, in progress. He's been fast-tracked. It's quite amazing to watch his story. Tyson Fury, an amazing boxer. How he, how he moved to someone that's 6'9", like nearly like 270-something pounds, like amazing. So I can see the skill sets that Tyson Fury could beat Joshua with, but I equally could see it with 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 Osh Joshua doing it with Fury, and you have to remember they've got they've got new people on their in their camp now, so they're obviously adding to their skill set, and we can't we can't predict what's really going to happen because we can't predict we're not in camp to see what their added skill sets are, you know. For sure, you cooking tonight, uh, D Hodges. What about you? What you think about the fight? Because I know last week you picked Tyson Fury, and now it sounds like you got AJ. Go ahead, D Hodges. No, I just, I always got AJ, and that just, I never picked Tyson Fury. I told you, I don't, and it's not even just cheating, but, like, I, I want him to lose in a way. But, no, I'm just saying, from a skill standpoint, I'm telling you, AJ got mad weapons, man. See, Wilder's a different pony, you know. All you got to do is watch out for the right with AJ. Fury got, a, and Fury, and AJ got power. It ain't like AJ's pillow fisted. Like if AJ punch you hard enough, he could put you to sleep. How many? How many knockouts he got on his record? So I really, mm -hmm. you're right. He has so many knockouts. So mm -hmm. I just really think his technical skill set is nothing. Because if Wilder would have went to the body more, he would have brought that head down and that right to the head. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't have got. He wouldn't have got up. But Wilder. He didn't throw no body punches. Like, it, think about Waleen. Waleen did well against him because he was getting that body. Mm -hmm. he, just, he just couldn't hit the body hard enough. But I really think AJ have enough power where mm -hmm. Fury gonna have to move that body because he could do mm -hmm. all that herky-jerky with the head. But if AJ yeah. throw, that, throw that hook, left or right hook to the body, like... Fury got way more things to worry about than any opponent because AJ got weapons. He got the hook. He got the uppercut. He got the body punch. He got movement. I No matter what, even if I call him gay, Jay, I still got to record. I still got to respect his <laughs> skill set. And, and I got to respect his skill set, you know. Mm -hmm. And I don't care about his outside life. But in the ring, on oh, dogs, watch. He bought the box suckles around Fairy Watch. Mm, yeah, you're right with the uh, with his uh power because I've like interviewed like boxers that have actually sparred um either fought AJ, like I spoke to Carlos Takam. Uh he fought obviously AJ beat him. And I've spoken to people that have also sparred with Tyson Fury. And they've all they've all said that when I asked them who hits hardest. It's undisputedly AJ. They've all said AJ hits harder than Fury. Facts from them. I've got, I've got it interviewing them. So you know. You know so we know that AJ can with the, the power punches power and punch he's got punch. great combos. Combo, you know, he's coming combo, with the left hook, right hook, firing right. with the with his finishing move is the the right uppercut. But but we don't know if how how well his punch resistance is 
when he gets punched to the body. We never really, we've never seen really AJ get punched to the body. Like we, and we've never really seen Tyson Fury be punched to the body. So very dope no body punch, huh? very dope punch to the body. He hurt and chuck and jab to the head. He very rarely goes to the body. He mm -hmm. better. If he don't go to the body against AJ, he's definitely going to be sparked. If he go to the body, then I think he got a chance because he's a little bit tall enough where you get AJ with a couple of good body blows, it might bring that hand down. But if he don't do that, I got AJ. He yeah, fight. I got AJ as well. I got AJ, but like I said, I'm just being a bit objective and like, like this is what I do. I like to analyze like boxing, that's what I do for my channel. So I have to, even though if I root for one fighter, I have to tell the truth of where possibly the other fighter's strengths lie. But like in things hey, like, just, sorry, just, sorry, just we all eat crow. I'm eating better beef crow. I'm eating Daniel DeBra crow. I'm still eating Lowo versus Teal crow. Like all we could do is pick the fight. Like I really mm -hmm. thought, but they help. Well, I picked Nakatani. But mm -hmm. I didn't really know he was going to actually win. You know what I'm saying? I just picked him. So it's like we never know. We just got to wait for these fights to happen, sit back, and either you go back to show and gloat or I go back to a show and eat my crow. I yeah. Just, yeah, I just analyze and do, like, predictions and check out, like, the fighters, uh, what they've been, like, what they do. And, like, like some fighters, I explained this to you, I said it to H, like, a lot of fighters have, like, golden rounds where they – tend on average to get their opponent out in that, that specific round so i like to push myself and and predict the round the exact round that the fighter is going to get his opponent out on so that's that's just what i do for it for my job well if anything all you don't want the drama when tyson rides up